Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Shores and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this analogous color scheme using kind of pinks, purples, and blues. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. I've already got a base shadow down when we're starting out. So now I'm adding Beaches and Cream as our transition shade and I'm using a Hakuhodo J5522 and applying this through the crease and just running it up, blending towards my brow, and then I'm also adding quite a bit on the lower lash line. Obviously, this is not part of our analogous color scheme, but we do need a transition shade that'll blend into our skin. I'm now using Pixie Deep Plum, and this is their Endless Silky Eye Pin, and I'm gonna be applying this all over the mobile lid. This is just going to give the purples we're applying later a base to stick on. So you could even use a black here, but I liked the purple a little bit better. I'm then taking a Sigma E32 and just blending that out. Definitely also use your finger here. You don't have to use a brush and you can use really any type of sticky base. Just something that's really going to press these pigments down. Now I'm going in with Urban from the Urban K Electric Palette. Um, some of these colors are not eye safe. So if you choose to use the same Colors that I do, be forewarned, they're not FDA approved for the eye area, but I'm gonna go ahead and use them. Anyhow, this is Urban and I'm pressing it on with a MAC 242. And it's just going all over the mobile lid. As you can see, because we have that other purple liner down, it looks really nice. I'm now also running it along my lower lash line, keeping it pretty close to the actual lash line, not blending it too far down. You could always switch over to like a pencil brush or another smaller brush here. I didn't, it's really up to you. Whatever gets you a little bit of a lower lash line action. I'm now going in with Jilted and I'm taking this on a Hakuhodo 146. And this actually stained my brushes. This brush is now pink at the tips. So go ahead and throw this in the actual crease and you're going to be blending this into the crease itself, but also blending it a bit over the urban. These shadows will press pigments do interact really well together. So it looks really nice. And because these are analogous colors, they sit next to each other on the color wheel. So naturally they're going to blend nicely into each other without really muddying each other. And I'm then dragging that along the lower lash line as well, taking that right over the top of the urban shadow. So it's gonna go urban into jilted in the way it's transitioning out to our skin. You may need to work with this a little bit more just because we are using such bright colors today. You can always choose a transition shade that's a little more peachy, that has a little more color if you're having any issues actually blending the color into your skin. I'm then going to hop over and grab a Hakuhodo J5523 next, and I'm just taking this clean and just blending the edges. So as you can see, I'm using little circular motions to really blend that away, but don't have any product on that brush. I'm now taking that same J146 and I'm taking Gonzo, and I'm applying this to the outer quarter of our eye. As you can see, I'm going over the lid and then blending it a little more into the crease. Because we're laying, layering this right over our purple shade, it more just deepens the purple up rather than going true blue, which I think looks really lovely. I think this is just a really, like I just love these colors in general. I'm then also blending that along the lower lash line. I'm having very, very, very little product on my brush because Gonzo is quite intense. I'm now taking Savage and I'm taking that to blend right over the edge of Jilted and using this as the transition shade. So you can see I'm pulling it mostly on the inner corner and I'm not blending it too far down. I'm mostly just blending it into the skin. And then I'm also going a little bit on the outer corner and then also on the inner corner of the lower lash line. Now I'm going with Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm just going to add a wing. I wanted something to break up the color so we don't have you know, pinks too close to our actual eye. I'm now taking Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter and I'm applying that along the outer, basically quarter where I'm actually applying shadow and then I'm blending it out about halfway. And then I'm also going over my top liner as well and just kind of softening that line just a touch. 
Then you want to give your lashes a good curl and then I forgot to highlight so now I'm adding a bit of gleaming gardenia and I'm just throwing this on my inner corner as well as highlighting my brow bone because I wanted to keep this again with analogous so I just went for a white highlight. I then added some mascara and now I'm going in with the Nubusun Faction Lashes and I'm just popping those on. You can also use my coupon code Rebecca Shores if you want to get 20% off and that is an affiliate code. As you can see, I already applied some black lipsticks. I forgot to film it. This is Melt Cosmetics Bane. And now I'm gonna be showing you how I did my lip color. I am first taking the Urban Color and I'm pressing that basically over the entirety of my lips. To keep my lines clean, I'm using a MAC 242 to press it on. You can also use your fingers. Your fingers work great for this. If you can keep your fingers from smudging the lipstick outside of the lip lines, a lot of times that's just harder for me, so I go with a flat synthetic brush. You do wanna use a synthetic brush here because you want it to actually deposit the pigment rather than kind of hold onto it. So go ahead and pat that all over your lips. A black base gives this the most kind of duochrome look, especially to the urban color. So I prefer black, but you could definitely go over any color. I'm taking a bit of Jilted and I'm popping that just in the center of the lip. This is gonna kind of make our lips look a little bit bigger and it just adds more dimension in general. So I do like to add a bit more of a pinkish purple to the center of the lip. And then I'm going for an orange blush. I know we were using an analogous color scheme, but I'm going to keep that color scheme on just my eyes and my lips. That's something I kind of pay attention to. Are we doing the whole face that we're talking about or just individual features? I like to use a peach blush with these cooler tones. And that completes our look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys later.